Hello everyone, in this video we'll be making this beautiful, amazing plant stand. Uh, this is an easy DIY project that you can make for yourself, for your family members, or you can even sell it as well. Please follow the easy step on how to make this easy DIY project and above all, enjoy it. The beauty about this project is that it's very easy to make and I've made the plant stand in a way that you're able to put different sizes of pot plants. Here's a list of the tools and the materials that I use for this build and for this build I use a pocket hole jig. Get pumped up and let's get ready to build. For this plant stand we're going to need 7 different wood cuts. So we're going to need about 125 millimeter long um, pine and also a 300 millimeter pine and it's going to be the base of your plant stand. So the first thing that I did was just to take my tape measure and just to make sure that I put, I put markings on where the middle of this base is going to be so this is a very important part so you need to take time while you're doing this make sure that you put your markings properly because if you don't do it properly um, your base is not gonna stand properly so the tool that I'm holding here is a pocket hole jig so what it basically does it allows you to drill a hole at an accurate angle in order to get a good joint so this is a it's a beautiful tool um, you have to buy the different accessories that come with it as well um, so basically I can say this is every DIY dream to have so if you don't have it don't stress about it there's always a way around it um, so I'm gonna show you different ways and alternatives on how to get around it so what I did just to drill two holes on each of the 125 millimeter wood cuts in order to form my base so I'll be going underneath um, the wood cut so you can see the two holes which I poked on there uh, That is going to put where that's where I'm gonna put my screws on So another thing to consider when using the pocket hole jig is that you need to clamp it down in order for you to Be able to drill down everything um, You can use a clamp or you can even uh, drill it down onto the table So I can't drill it down because I'm using my my dining table So you can see the four different holes that I did using the pocket hole jig. So the thing here is that the screws that I'm going to be putting, um, there's about 30 millimeter screws and then they'll be entering into in, in an angle and then I'll be able to join the pieces together. That's how I'm going to have my funnel base of the plant stand. So you can see here when the screws are going in, they're going in in an angle. Um, so this is basically very convenient, especially when you want those tighter joints and you are working with uh, a situation where you're not able to, uh, like in this situation, we're not able to join these three different pieces without even cutting. So if you have a chainsaw or also a handsaw or also um, any cutting instrument where you'll be able to cut, so you can also join it that way, but this is a way easier way to join the different cuts. So once you're done with the joinery, just make sure that the screws are not poking or showing because there's an option where you can also put the plugs and cover the holes that you've created. And you can also use wood filler as well. So I didn't cover them because I knew that the stand, um, the holes would be right at the bottom of the stand. So once I was done with my cross or my base of the plant stand, I just used a mallet hammer, which is basically rubber um, in form. So it was not going to damage my wood in any form so I just need to pound it down to make sure that everything is lined and um, it's in straight line position so up next the next thing that I did was just to measure using my pot plant just to make sure how high I wanted my stand to be so I measured my pot plant um, as a guide to give me a bit of direction on how high I wanted the the, the base of the stand to be So on this next step, what I did was just to align my legs for the plant stand and just to make sure that uh, they're all in the straight line position. And then I made markings on where I was going to put, drill the wood cuts and then where I was going to put my screws. So I used the two lumbers on the side just to, as a guide to make sure that the, the legs are in a straight line position. Once I was done with the markings, I pre drilled the wood cuts or the legs of the plant stand uh, just to make sure that uh, there's two um, screws that I was going to put on each leg in order to make sure that everything is tight and secure. Mm -hmm. 
So after that, I took my sander block and then just to sand down the rough edges around the cuts and just to make sure everything was nicely, finely smooth and there's no splinters or anything rough on the wood cuts. So we're nearly there. We're now at the final stage of just assembling everything and putting the legs together. So I put the two screws, which um, I put pre the woodcut prior. And then um, just to make sure everything was tight and secure, I securely tightened the screws onto the uh, base of the um, plant stand. So this is like the first leg of putting everything together. And then you just need to repeat this step about four different times until you have all the full legs together. When you're doing this process of putting all the legs together, please just make sure that you are really precise because if you're not precise, um, you will experience your stand becoming lumpy or um, one side will be longer than the other. So please be precise depending on the markings that you did. Please leave on the comment section and then please do tell me if you're going to try this project either for yourself or your friend or a family member or even to sell it as well. So I tested my plant stand and it was standing upright and I was happy with how it turned out. Then I needed to move on to the next phase, which is just painting or spray painting my wood stand. So this week I decided to go for a spray paint. I wanted a metallic finish that goes hand in hand with the decor and also the colors that I was aiming for. So I just spray painted my... Uh, my plant stand and it was quick and easy even though it was very windy outside but it was it helped it was very beneficial because it was, it was quick, quick to dry sorry and also um, I loved how the metallic finish looked so I always advise that if you spray painting just step outside because there's a lot of fumes that fly around when you spray painting so please do step outside when you're doing this process So after the spray painting, this is how the final plant stand looked like. It's stable, it's beautiful, I love how it turned out. Um, anyone can try this. Please do try this project and then just let me know how it turns out and what color you've chosen. Um, this is perfect for a gift, this is perfect for a loved one. Um, do try this project and um, also one thing to note is that you can dress it as many different times. You can use many different vases, you can ma many use different things as well. Um, thank you so much for tuning in 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 this week's video please leave on the comment section and how how yours turns out and until next time i'll see you in the next video cheers bye